Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Rectech RT1250 pellet grill. So this grill has 1250 square inches of cook space. It's absolutely massive. They now have an integrated second uh, rack and then the Wi-Fi controller now supports dual bands. So you've got both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz channels. So also some other cool features I'm going to walk you through. So let's go ahead and get started and check out this new grill. All right, here she is, the Rectech 1250 all put together. It took my wife and I about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half uh, to put this bad boy together. There's definitely a couple parts during the um, assembly process that uh, I would highly recommend that you use two people on. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the new features. So this is the newly updated front shelf. It's got the new Rectech branding here that looks nice and it just drops down like that and then very easily just snaps back into place what's really awesome about this new front shelf is that it comes standard with the rt1250 whereas you may be aware with previous models that was a separate purchase so what most people are going to be stoked about definitely including myself is that the 1250 naming convention of this grill signifies that it's got 1250 square inches of cooking space with this new integrated second shelf but i'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the uh, internal components here so just like the bowl uh, you've got your fire pot right here in the middle with a ceramic ignition system and you've got your uh, pit probe over here on the side. So an exciting new kind of upgrade to this grill is this beast uh, cast iron heat deflector. Uh, so this is something that's new and you know it just sets in like that. And the idea with this new cast iron heat deflector is that it's just going to hold up better. It's not going to bend or warp like the stainless steel ones. And Rectech is also saying that you can put wood chips or pellets on top of this heat deflector and it will allow those chips or pellets to smolder giving you some extra smoke flavor if you want now i'm going to have to kind of put that to the test over the next few cooks and see how that does so i should be able to give you a better answer after i've cooked on it a bit all right we've got our stainless steel drip pan so it just drops in like that then our gigantic stainless steel bottom rack and it just slides right into that notch just like that nice and locked in and then again one of the best new features on this grill is this integrated second rack and it just slides straight in just like that All right there's a stainless steel little hook that came with the grill too so you can Grab this hot second rack and pull that out. On the side shelf here, you've got uh, four nice little uh, spots you can hang some different cooking tools. So I thought this was pretty cool. They added a 110 outlet to the back of the side shelf here. And really you can use that to plug in whatever you want, you know, another grill or a fan, whatever you need. This is another nice new feature. They've now got a protective conduit for your wires coming from your, uh, you know, your grill up here to the computer. So that's going to make that doggy proof and whatever else may have potentially messed up wires on the previous models. Looking at the back of the hopper here, there's a couple hooks back here where you can, again, hang some tools or whatever you need to there. Got our stainless steel hopper lid here, as with the RT700. This is uh, a 40 pound hopper, so a ton of pellets for some really big cooks there. Got our chimney with our stainless steel cap, our stainless steel handle over here, and then our stainless steel drip bucket. And of course we have the iconic stainless steel bowl handles here. And there's a quick shot of our massive bottom storage rack there. And a quick shot of the massive casters. One thing I almost forgot to show you guys was they have added this new grease diverter. So it basically attaches uh, here where the bull handles 
come through from the front side of the grill. So it just attaches to that. And you can see it's got this little kind of lip on it. And the idea is there to help divert that grease. So, you know, if you guys have uh, had Rectex before, a lot of times some of the issues, some of the grease coming down uh, the bottom front side of the cook chamber on the outside and just kind of gets kind of nasty and dirty. So the idea here is that's supposed to help remedy that. Um, as I begin to start cooking on this, we'll see how good that actually does. Okay, so we're taking a look at the fire pot here. So when you get one of these grills brand new, we've got to get both the auger tube and the fire pot primed. So the way we do that is you'll notice I put just a small handful of pellets into the fire pot here. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill our hopper up and do a one hour burn at 400 degrees. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get some pellets in our hopper. All right, and there we go, we're all set. All right, so finally I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the updated controller here. So you'll notice this, uh, it's got an external antenna on it now. But the greatest new feature is that it now is a dual band controller, so it supports both the 2.4 and uh, 5 gigahertz channels. So a lot of people in the past had issues hooking up just to the 2.4 channel. Uh, you know, if you're not real techie, some people kind of struggle with that. So um, they've now got the dual band, which is awesome. So you can control this right here. Uh, just with this knob, it goes up in increments of five degrees, as you can see there. We've got our probe A and probe B ports for our two meat probes. And then, of course, you can control everything via the app. So we're going to let this thing go ahead and continue getting up to 400. We're almost there. And then I'm going to start my one hour timer uh, for this first just initial burn in. So lastly, I did want to give you a quick look at the newly uh, updated Rectech app. It's incredibly easy to use. It was super simple to hook up the RT1250 to my Wi-Fi. I've got it plugged in so you can see here that it's picking up the Wi-Fi but it says it's off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the grill on. <clears throat> it'll give you some alerts. You can control all these notifications. If you have an Apple Watch it'll notify you on your watch as well. Again you can control all those settings and you can see here where you can you really just kind of pull the temp up and down with your finger here uh, so very easy to control lots of notifications so you might want to turn some of those off um, you can come in here to the advanced settings some people have asked about this this is where you can do some temperature calibration and minimum feed rate and then down here on the bottom they've got some links to their recipe pages, which is really nice. You can come check that out. I think they have a link over here to their shop as well. So nice looking app. They did a great job of doing some updates here and we'll just, you know, back out of here. Um, my grills, this is where I've got my uh, 590 over here. So uh, definitely get this downloaded when you get the new grill and you'll be able to control it from wherever you're at. All right guys, so that is gonna wrap up this first look at the new Rectech RT1250. So keep an eye on my channel. I'm gonna try and cook on this thing as much as possible as my schedule allows. Definitely check out my Instagram page too. Uh, if you don't already follow me there, I have a link in the video description. You know, a lot of times when I don't have time to shoot a full video like this, I often post little video clips and uh, post things to my story cooking on uh, these Rectech grills. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about this grill whatsoever, please leave uh, a comment and I'll do my best to answer that for you. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.